Hi, I'm back with another journal with me. I'm very sorry that last week I didn't manage to record any journal with me. In fact, I didn't journal at all last week because I don't know. I I'm on that lazy mode, or you call or what do you call that the journal slum. Yep, I have no mood at all to touch my journal. But today I am in the mood of doing this um, video for for you guys or to share my journal spread, setup spread. So I guess this year my journaling style suited me very well because, uh, for instance, like last week, if I'm I'm not in the mood to update any journal at all, there's no problem or no stress at all for me this week. To you know, to try to catch up or anything, I just I can just pick up where I left off. Unlike last week, where uh, last week not last week, unlike last year, where I do a daily journaling, and if I miss up any day at all, I have you know the stress to catch up. So it, it sort of defeat the purpose of me journaling because I wanted it to de stress or to to make me relax, but instead. It made me more anxious because I'm trying to catch up my daily journal. But this year, I am, you know, in my uh, taking my own sweet time, as and when I just I want to update my journal. I mean, I've been enjoying that tremendously lately. So I guess I'm going to be keeping uh, to that journaling style. Yep. And here I am going to stamp down this wording, English wording stamp on this piece of leftover uh, paper pad. And I accidentally got some black ink on my finger. So here I'm going to take out a piece of Awagami factory paper and I'm going to use the blue this round. Because I felt that brown on brown is a bit boring. So I wanted to have a little bit of a different color in between. So this round I'm going for the blue. But the whole piece of blue seems to be too striking. So I'm going to tear that in half. And this piece of a plant flower um, ephemera is actually from a plant book that I got. I did sort of a quick flip through in one of my videos, I can't remember which one of this book that I got that has the illustration of the plant and flower so I love that book a lot so I just fuzzy cut the plant or the flower illustration that I want and uh, it will form part of my collage in this spread so here I am putting everything down with my glue stick I am actually still have a little bit of a lazy mode when I do this, but you know, I, I still want to have a consistent journaling going on rather than, you know, stopping for more than two weeks. Yep. So, but I, I am quite happy that I do this or that I did this, but yeah, I still have a little bit of a lazy mode going on here so because I did this quite fast like within 20 minutes unlike last you know my normal journaling which will take around at least half an hour to 45 minutes yeah I actually wanted to have more elements like using my die cuts or my 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 punch but yeah my my lazy mode is still there so I just use a vintage paper ephemeras and those uh, what you call this those items that I have lying around that I can get easily rather than taking out my die cutting machine or you know taking out my punch and things like that not sure why this lazy mode is on though hopefully it'll go off fast <laughs> yep I miss my journal just that you know I, I don't have the mood to do it but I do miss journaling. I don't know. It feels very contradicting, but it is what it is. And here I am taking out some of this new washi tape that I got. Yeah, it's actually pretty cheap. This washi tape, but then the quality is not too bad. Better than I thought it would be. Yep. And some of the washi tape, those cheap ones, when you try to 
uh, put it into a sample form like how I did here so that it's easier for me to carry around all my washi tape that I have. It's, uh, it's a challenge to do that to some of those cheap washi tape because once you unroll it, it the stickiness sort of reduce so it won't stay sticky not on this um, what do you call plastic sample thingy or even on your spread yeah it will sort of keep on coming up or peeling off so it's very frustrating but this miraculously is you no know, the quality is pretty good as you can see it's still pretty sticky yep I have no problem to roll it into a sample form and then use it later on and here I'm just taking out one of my favorite sticker the girl stickers Yep, so I choose this green, the, this girl with the green dress. I think it goes very well with the plan and the whole theme. And here I want to use some of these vintage tickets. It's actually still part of the freebie that I got from the things that I bought. I have tons of freebie by the way, like I mentioned before. So it shows that how much I've been buying my journaling supply that I really, really need to stop. Yep. And this is also from the same um, team or from the same box of stamps that I use on the first one, the English wording. Yep. So this one sort of like a letter, uh, the number two in a stamp form. And of course, this is my genuine vintage tickets collection. I have all this actually in full rolls, so it's a bit difficult to, you know, to, to look for the ones I want. So I sort of picking out uh, like tens or twenties of them and put in this Muji album so I can get them easily. And here I'm just taking out this registered postmark that I want to use on my spread. So this is water activate. I think it doesn't sound right. Is it called wa water activated? Anyway, you can, you know, uh, activate the glue or the gum at the back of this um, register post thingy. So once you have some water on, it activates the gum behind and you can stick it down without using any actual glue or gum or anything. Yeah. And here I'm going to use this uh, Versify Satin Red ink pad to put down this postage marking on my registered postmark and of course on my vintage stamp sorry my vintage tickets <laughs> ah, what is wrong with me and here I am going to uh, have a little collage on my left hand uh, the left hand side I think this is my style I mentioned before, right? To have um, the major theme on my on one of the, I don't know, one of the page, and the next page to have a tiny collage that looks similar to the main theme. You have to show the continuation of, or to show that these two pages are actually uh, one enough for one day spread. I'm going to use the same washi, the blue uh, color washi with the grid as well. Yep. And then I'm going to stick down this vintage ticket sticker. It's actually a sticker, it's not an, a, an actual vintage ticket. Yep. But this sticker is not too good quality, I think, because it doesn't stick down very well. It keeps on pop coming up, uh, peeling off, and yeah. I have to press it down really, really, really hard for a few times. Yep. And here I'm going to take a floral sticker to complete my collage. This is a bit too big, so I found one off camera. As you can see, I have lots of floral stickers, so it needs some time to go through. So I pause and yep, search for it off camera. And I, this is in perfect size, so I'm just moving around to see where I want to put it. And I've decided put to put it in the middle. 
Next up, I'm going to stencil down the date and the day using this、um, Travelers Company brush stencil. There we go. I did it off camera because、uh, I when I write, I have to tilt my book almost you no know, ninety degrees to the side. Yes, that, I know that's weird, but I don't know why. But that's how I write. <laughs> And here I found this orange theme stem with floral on it, and I think it goes very well with this spread. So I put that down. And next up, I'm going to distress the side of my page with this distress ink pad, frill burlap. I hope I pronounce it correctly. Yeah. You know, I I did regret a bit for buying distress ink pad. That is not brown in color, because for all this time I've only used brown or gray, or maybe yellow and a little bit of orange, I guess. But the rest of the color, I I don't know how to use them, I guess, I, or I haven't explored them yet. So yeah, I am a bit, you know, I I because I was going through my journaling supplies and. When I saw this distress ink pad that I've in blue, in pink, in violet, I said, "Why did I buy all this color? Because I I never used them." But anyway, this is the end of my journal with me, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I am happy that I'm back, even though I still have a little bit of lazy mode going on. And of course, until I see you guys next time, please take care of yourself. Stay healthy, and yeah, I hope that I my lazy mode will go away soon, and I'll be able to do another journal with me video next week. Until then, um, yep, take care and bye. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.